Hello. Oh yeah. Last run, just a little walleye. Look at that. First walleye of the day. I think it's around 8.30 a.m. I'm just here on uh, Jackfish Lake, fishing zone PP2, about 30 minutes west of, uh, of Edmonton. And uh, I'm not too far off the boat watch, sitting about 12 feet. That's a nice eye right there. See if we can get some underwater strikes. Welcome back to Albert Angling. Should I get my other glove back on? Just got back down there and there's already another walleye on the screen here. Hands are a little cold so I got my gloves on but he's looking at it right now. Right in the mud. Sees it. Can't tell if he's interested or not. It's really dark to see on the camera. Definitely walleyes in the area here. Trying to catch that morning bite. Uh, so I was setting up the camera as I saw a few fish on the camera, on the underwater camera already. But uh, it was a little too dark to record. So hopefully there's a few more that roll through. Size, but we've got some interest. He just took it. It's a little big for him. Not gonna set the hook yet. Wait till I see that jig go out. Just gonna give him some free line. Don't know if he's aided yet since he slammed off camera, but I'm gonna give him a go now. I think I got him. It's not a good hook set, but just a little guy anyways. Yep, just a little walleye. Hands are real cold right now, so let me get this guy down quick. There's a second walleye of the day. Not a bad fish. Probably 17 inch or so. Took that minnow very nice and easy, nice and slow as I was gonna switch baits, but get this hook out. Another luck. Nice walleye. Send him down. Makes the hands cold. So that's two off the rod. My jaw jacker's been going steady. Got it uh, using the tooth wheel right now. And uh, still hasn't caught any fish yet. It did go off one time, but it didn't uh, didn't hook into any fish, so. Hopefully that turns around. You can see my minnow dropping in the, in the camera frame now. Put some jig on onto my uh, lighter rod here. Just realized I broke the tip. Got a fish rolling in through right now. Just a small guy.
Oh. Just hooked. Oh, he just spit it. I wasn't paying attention. I was getting my minnows ready. Let's see if he'll eat it again. I think he learned his lesson. And so did I. <laughs> I just saw my line tick and didn't realize he had it in his mouth and I didn't. And I should have just set the hook. Jig. That's a little uh, little plastic from Frostbite that I picked up over the Christmas break there. And this is on uh, one of their light rods as well. Yeah, nice little walleye there. Bring him out. Oh yeah. Can't grab him. There we go. That's a nice little walleye. Lucky enough to take that Frostbite. Plastic. Get that little hook out of there. There you go. Nice little eye again. Just a small guy. Let's get back down there. Woo! Oh, here's a small walleye. Little guy in the back there. This minnow is going to be a bit big for him. Yeah, he just got scooped. I wonder if uh, dropping that tungsten might help at all. Give a smaller presentation for him. So this Jackfish Lake, uh, there's a catch and release limit on all species. and. Uh, I've caught walleye, pike, and and perch here before, and uh, I know they shut it down years ago to recover the lake. And, uh, and over the past two years, I think it's picked up pretty good. I mean, in the summer, I'm catching quite a few walleyes at at a numerous locations. It's kind of a cool lake. There's a deep hole and a and an island in the middle. And then a bunch of uh, structure areas around the lake if you can find them. I'm just parked at the boat launch. Uh, and in the winter, uh, you can park there for free. If you're coming in the summer, you got to pay 20 bucks to launch your boat. I know a lot of guys come out here for boating. So you kind of got to pick your spots and uh, kind of avoid the boaters. A lot of people are doing water skiing and water sports. So uh, ice fishing is a great opportunity to take advantage of this fishery. Got him. Right on. Just a little guy. But that's gonna wrap up my day today. Just came out for the morning bite. Ah, he came off right at the hole. So it's uh, just after 9 a.m. now. I think I got out here around 7.45, maybe 8. Started fishing by 8.10. And uh, saw a bunch of fish. This is just before the sun came up. That that window is so tight. I think between uh, maybe 45 minutes just before sunrise and uh, right after sunrise, the bite kind of died. I haven't seen anything for probably 15 minutes. So really got to stress that window. Uh, you don't have to fish all day. You just got to come at the right time. And uh, I can tell now I'm probably not going to see any more fish. Didn't end up catching that fish, but that's all right. That's going to do it for me today here on Jackfish Lake. Thanks for tuning in to uh, another episode of Alberta Angling. So uh, stay tuned for more episodes coming soon. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.